Hi guys, so in today's video, we're covering taxis and kinesis in all of the detail you need to ace those A-level biology exams. And at the end of the video, we're gonna cover some exam practice to help you get all the marks if this comes up in the exam. So let's get into it, guys. The AQA, A-level biology, taxis and kinesis. Now we're going to be talking about responses in animals first of all. So simple organisms such as maggots and wood lice have simple responses to keep them in favourable conditions. Now small mobile organisms, so those that are able to move about freely, are vulnerable to being eaten. And we call this predation, where one organism such as a tertiary consumer eats another organism which may be a secondary consumer for example. Now, these small mobile organisms are also vulnerable to drying out. And the posh word for drying out is desiccation. Now, just think about those desiccated coconut bowls that you may have been made in the past. That dry coconut on the outside is actually called desiccated coconut. Now, taxis is a directional response towards or away from a stimulus. Now, movement towards light would be defined as positive phototaxis. Positive because it's towards, photo because it's light, think photosynthesis, photograph, and taxis is movement. Now movement away from the light is known as negative phototaxis. So negative because it's away from the light, photo because it's light, and taxis because it's moving. Now other examples of taxis can include things like chemotaxis, which is towards or away from a chemical, or hydrotaxis, which is towards or away from water. So a classic example that you may see come up in the AQA A-level biology exam is with wood lice. Now wood lice demonstrate negative phototaxis, which means they move away from the light. Now this means they're less likely to be eaten and dry out because they're more likely to be under things like rocks in dark, damp conditions where predators such as birds will not be able to eat them. So if we have our light source here, we can see that the wood louse will demonstrate negative phototaxis, moving away from that light source. Now, next of all, we have kinesis. Kinesis is the second type of movement. So we've got taxis and we've got kinesis. Now, kinesis is the non-directional movement in response to a stimulus that an organism may demonstrate. Wood lice, again, are a classic example. In high humidity, wood lice move slowly and they make fewer turns or less turns. In low humidity, meaning dry air, wood lice move more rapidly and make more turns. And this means that wood lice stay in humid areas and move away from dry areas, meaning there's less chance that the wood lice will dry out and more chance that the wood lice will survive and reproduce. Now there's a classic experiment called the choice chamber experiment that you need to be aware of. Choice chambers have areas with different conditions and organisms can move freely to the favored area, giving the organism choice, which is why they're called choice chambers. So for example, you can cover the lid of one half with black paper blocking out the light and wood lice will demonstrate negative phototaxis and generally move to the darker side. So let's imagine this left-hand side here was covered with dark paper, we could see that the wood lice will move to the darker side. Now you could also place mesh across the Petri dish with damp filter paper on one side and a drying agent on the other to demonstrate wood louse kinesis in response to humidity. And you would imagine that the wood lice will be moving really quickly in the dry area until they gradually migrate over to the damper area with higher humidity where you'll get larger numbers. So if, for example, we had here the dark side and the light side, you can see that the wood lice will demonstrate negative phototaxis from the light side towards the dark side. Now, you've got to remember to show good scientific practice. Those AQA, A-level biology exams are all about those scientific skills, the scientific knowledge you need to demonstrate that you really know your stuff. So place the wood lice in the center to begin with and give an appropriate amount of time. So for example, 10 minutes may be an appropriate amount of time. And then you'd also say, repeat the experiment and control all of the variables other than the one that is being investigated. So you'd use the mesh to protect the wood lice from the drying agent, and then you would release them back into the habitat safely. 
And remember, one of your required practical competencies is to be able to demonstrate safe and ethical treatment of organisms. So that can help you with that. Now, let's do some exam practice next of all. So question one, an investigation into the movement of beetles was carried out. G, J, P and R represent different beetles. The beetles were placed on the spot in the center of the chamber shown below. From the top of the chamber, a single light source decreased in intensity as the distance away from the light source increased. The scientists drew the movement pattern of the beetles as shown below. Name the behavior shown and suggest one advantage of this behavior to the beetles. So we can see here we've got the wood lice being placed in the center here, or the beetles in this case being placed in the center here. And we can see J, G, P and R have all shown different movement patterns. And we can see that the light intensity decreases as we move further away from the diagram showing a bulb there. So what would the behavior for A be? Pause the video and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, so behavior A would have been positive phototaxis because we can see G, J, P and R all move towards the light source. Now, what would the advantage be? Well, you'd have to give a suitable suggestion. So for example, it could be to avoid predation, to find a mate, or to avoid competition, for example. Right, guys, that's everything we've got time for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.